I spend a great deal of time in in the chapter that's on your website uh, dissecting the Hiroshima study, and it's deeply flawed, flawed science. And yet it is the cornerstone mm-hmm. of what we consider safe levels of radiation. Right. Now, they, they uh, did not observe uh, birth defects in the population. Why was this? Because the study didn't uh, start till five years after the bombing, where who knows how many um, uh, deformed babies, stillbirth, birth defects of one kind or another, disappeared from the population long before the study even began. And there are people that have interviewed the women in, uh, that uh, lived in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki who were so ashamed by what happened to their offspring that they hid them from the authorities. So there was never any accurate um, understanding of uh, the possibility mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. birth defects in that population. Mm-hmm. And yet, the radiation protection community will deny that their birth defects had happened as a result of Chernobyl. But Russian scientists have documented thousands of cases of uh, hideous birth defects uh, that are a result of the uh, uh, Chernobyl accident. Very conveniently, similar kind of birth defects occurred and are being documented right now in uh, Fallujah in Iraq. And once again, Western uh, radiation science says, well, no, you know, We have no evidence that it could possibly be as a result of radioactivity. Once again, selecting what data they're going to uh, uh, use as a criterion for what is the health effect of radiation. This is one of the big scams. Fallujah, of course, is is destroyed. It's it's gone. Uh, Yes. Those people were sacrificed. Just like the people who are living in... uh, Areas near the exclusion zone. The, 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 by the way, Fukushima City, from everything I can determine, a city of about 300,000 people, ought to be evacuated. But there's no chance that go, that's going to happen. No. But this is what's so insidious, that you have uh, 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 people in academic uh, circumstances writing articles, writing journal articles. Uh, for instance, there was a, a study recently done by a professor at Stanford University, and uh, this was in a, a number of newspapers around the country. And according to his calculations, all of Fukushima worldwide would create no more than 130 deaths and 180 can- uh, cases of cancer. Now, this is absolutely ridiculous in terms of him saying that. But what's more so is that uh, people of in the radiation scientists, health physicists, holding academic positions, holding uh, positions of authority, when they're composing these uh, false statements, what they're doing is they're affecting policy. And so they're affecting the policy of where should we evacuate uh, in Fukushima? Uh, who, is, who are receiving doses that are um, medically significant? The people authoring these false uh, scientific treatises are criminals, and they are uh, killing people as a result of uh, trying to protect the nuclear industry. They're putting out information that is being ignored or that's being used to justify inaction. And their seemingly harmless uh, fudging of their data or uh, slight manipulation of their mathematics is having real-world consequences in terms of, uh, who knows, untold suffering and untold birth defects and untold uh, uh, cases of cancer throughout Japan. So this is why I was focusing on the science itself, because it's it's the, the governments that choose to listen to the scientific advice. And as long as it's given credence, the inaction is justified because of According to mainstream science, there's no reason to respond because there's going to be no injury in the population. But this is all fraud, it's all deceit, and uh, it's just victimization of innocent population. How is the hazard after an accident to be calculated? We cannot trust the government. They begin lying from day one, and they never quit. What are we to do? We can buy an, an Inspector Plus do our own readings of things, but there is there has been no leadership 
from the federal government or any of its agencies in trying to warn, let alone teach, the American public about the dangers that they're facing now. And again, the Pacific Ocean along the West Coast is going to absorb an awful lot of cesium, and it's it's stacking up as we speak. Yeah. I don't know that the average person has any alternative. You know, this is this is the world that we're living in with a bunch of uh, uh, people that uh, scatter radioactivity with abandon, that don't warn people of the hazard, that don't take any protective measures uh, or any warning to the population of the uh, well, milk in this area has been found to be too contaminated. Don't feed this to your children. We don't get that information. And because the science is so sophisticated and takes a, a, a very expensive uh, equipment to learn how to use and to uh, uh, acquire some rudimentary skill, yes. we are basically being victimized. I don't know that the individual can uh, uh, sufficiently protect themselves because the planet's getting contaminated. Yeah, and there's no way to to really do away with that contamination. It just it can't be mitigated. Uh, no, Fukushima nuclear pollution to hit the U.S. beginning in 2015. Well, that's really not correct. It's already hitting the U.S. both in the Pacific and through the jet stream and other high level and low level air mass movement from Japan to the east. The uh, it is saying that. The impact of the strength of cesium-137 on the West Coast will be as high as 4%. Now, again, I'm not sure what that means exactly, but it's going to become so contaminated that I, I'm i wondering if people should, in time, even go on the water anymore. Right. Same thing. Uh, I don't know that people should be uh, walking in the rain anymore. I don't think people should be uh, drawing water from uh, above ground wells. Uh, possibly also uh, uh, farm animals uh, uh, eating uh, homegrown uh, chicken and beef. Uh, uh, there's no way to know what's contaminated and to what levels are uh, contaminated. Right. This is the nuclear beast that's been re- uh, released on the earth, and we're the only ones that can stop it. The end is we have to uh, uh, tell the powers that be that this is enough. Well, we, we, you know, Paul, I agree with you. Unfortunately, we can tell the powers that be all day long and all night long, too, that enough is enough, and they're not going to change the way they do business. We don't have the clout anymore as a populace. We don't have the will to force these people into accountability. So we have to educate ourselves with people like you, books like yours, and we have to use common sense. And I, I just well, don't know what else to tell people. That's what we do on this program. We try to educate them and steer them toward people like you where they can get the data they need. Right. The, the one uh, 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 the most positive outcome uh, is that the, it's the citizen scientists who's doing the monitoring that can provide the information that's being uh, uh, denied to us by exactly. uh, uh, officials. Yeah. And and we and have so, some wonderful people working very hard to do that. Uh, our friends uh, Michael Collins and Denise Ann at EnviroReporter.com. Uh, you've got the the, uh, the mainline sites, uh, ENE News, uh, which does a, a good job, e- SKF, uh, Nuke News, uh, Simply Info, Fukushima Diary. There are a number of them. I pull material from those almost every day. Right, right. I, I, I've heard your interviews with... Uh, uh, Michael Collins. So, yeah. Uh, but you know, there's there's still the problem of uh, lots of contamination that can't be read by a Geiger count. That's going to be in the food supply. That's true. And without without very sophisticated uh, detection equipment, people are not going to know if that can of tuna fish, which they take off the shelf, is going to uh, uh, contain internal emitters that they're going to ingest into their body. Best thing to do with tuna is just stop. Don't. Yeah. 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 Just in a nutshell, don't. Yeah. I often wonder about the uh, the uh, strawberries and fresh produce from California. How much yeah, bad is the. I, I think we should wonder about it, and I think no one is doing the work with the sophisticated and expensive instruments to find out how polluted and contaminated and toxic California produce is. And I will be willing to submit that if it were properly analyzed, it would be. It would be so bad in some cases that people would simply 
panic and stop buying a lot of fruits and vegetables. Right. I'm sorry to but say that, the, but that's my view of it. The problem is then is that you'll you'll have some very uh, highly credentialed uh, uh, professor. At oh, a, of course, at hired University guns. University. They'll, they'll come right in for, in two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, a depressingly rigged game. Okay. Uh, anything you want to add? We have just about a minute left, Paul. This has been very helpful for people. Remind them of the of the title of your book, if you would, uh, and we can point them to the chapter on my website as well. Okay. My book is entitled uh, A Primer in the Art of Deception, uh, Cult of Nucleus, Geranium Weapons, and Fraudulent Science. And uh, the chapter that's on uh, your website, uh, which really deconstructs the whole scam about uh, how radiation is uh, uh, miscalculated, uh, 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 the betrayal of mankind by the Radiation Protection Agency. I'll pull that story uh, back up a little higher so people uh, will have uh, a better chance to see it. Um, anything you want to add as a, as a, a final boy? I, just as a, an aside here real quickly, I feel so sad for the Japanese people. The yeah. incineration of this nuclear waste is, is complete insanity. Their food supply is obviously compromised. They're forcing little children in schools to eat contaminated rice and other, other produce. Uh, it's, it's just a terrible situation. It's, uh, it's really unbelievable. Yeah, it really is. They're being sacrificed for the nuclear agenda. They, they are. They are indeed. Yeah. Paul, thank you uh, for all you do. Uh, congratulations on the book. Uh, we'll talk to you again. Keep me posted, will you? And if you come up with new material you'd like to present, the door is always open here for you. Thank you very much, Jeff. You're very welcome. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir.